Hello, everybody. I have something very important to tell you. Was filming this YouTube video. I made a mistake during the intro. And now I have to re-record it. And I'm wearing different clothes because the t-shirt I was wearing is now in the wash. So here's the intro. Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Dan and or X2Shoes and today we are going to be talking about some free tools to help you on your streaming journey. There's so many tools and resources out there for small streamers or for even bigger streamers. Things like software, apps, websites, all these different places where you can find loads and loads and loads of different things to help you make your streaming life easier, grow your stream, all those kind of things. And sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming. Today, we're gonna to talk about some of the things that I use personally on my stream that I think are really beneficial and that I think a lot of streamers could benefit from using. Before we get into the video, everybody, I wanna thank everyone so much again for 4,000 subscribers here on YouTube. That is absolutely wild. Only like two videos ago, I was thanking you guys for 3,000 subscribers, so to see it, just fly up that much is insane. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so if you wanna help me on my journey, please hit the subscribe button now on the channel, you absolute legend. And as well, guys, if you do wanna catch me live on Twitch, I'm live there four days a week over at twitch.tv forward slash x2shoes. It's just a really weird, strange stream. I promise you, you'll have a fun time. Why do I feel like something is gonna fucking jump out at me any- <laughs> With all that said now, let's talk about the five best free tools I think you should use on Twitch. All right, streamladder.com. Oh my God, Streamladder is such a lifesaver and time saver. Streamladder is this basically amazing tool that you can go on, paste your Twitch clips into and create unreal TikToks or Instagram reels or vertical videos from in literally like two minutes. It is so, so easy. So this is Streamladder. This allows you to create vertical video so easy and just without any hassle at all. So what you can do is you can actually upload a video into it or you wanna make it into a vertical video or you can actually just paste a Twitch clip straight from Twitch. So let's say I'm gonna do that. You hit get clip, it finds your clip. Is this your clip? Yes, it is, continue. So it gives you all these templates, right? Your full screen or let's say a kind of half and half. If you wanted to split your screen, first thing you gotta do, select where your camera is. You just get this little box, you drag it straight to your camera, size it up a bit. I have a rounded camera border, so this is a little awkward to get right. So found my camera, got it selected, hit accept, find my gameplay, accept, and it creates this lovely little clip for me right here. Probably could have positioned my webcam a little bit better, but you can take more time and you can figure it out yourself. Sometimes you see a lot on like TikTok or Reels where you see people who are just throwing in like a 16-9 or a wide angle thing and then the top and bottom are just completely black and it just doesn't look as good. But if you want to really fill out your screen, this is a really great way of doing it. You hit finish. Once you've got your clip, just transcodes, takes two seconds. I'll see you when it's done. All right, so that's finished. Then you just hit download, goes straight to your desktop. Doesn't even take you off the website, wherever you want to download it to. Boom, there you go. So yeah, Streamladder, super awesome free tool that will make your TikToking and Instagram reeling and all those things way easier going forward. I can't recommend it enough. I've never had an issue with it. Streamladder.com, check it out, use it, it's awesome. The next thing isn't really a tool or a piece of software, but it's something that I think you can do for free on your stream that makes such a difference. Creating personalized custom sound bites is something that is so used on my stream. Like I honestly think most people found my stream or like brought into my stream went from a raid or whatever and noticed this stuff happening. So what I do on my stream is I have a lot of like custom little sound bites that I can play during certain points of the stream. So like I have a character I do on my stream called Metal Daniel. That's me doing these like metal screams, like from a metal band. I used to play in a metal band years ago. And it's me saying things like, thank you so much in a big metal voice or incredible job or whatever when something good happens on the stream. I also use custom sound bites for my alerts. So, you know, instead of just having like a blink sound, I literally have it set up that if say somebody gifts me five subs, it will play like a funny voice of me going, thanks for five subs or something. You can create these so easily. If you own a microphone, that is all you need. Microphone or headset or whatever the hell you want. To create these, I use a software called Adobe Audition. Uh, that is a paid for software, but you can do this with a software called Audacity and Audacity is free and it works pretty much exactly the same way. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do this in Adobe Audition. You can follow along in Audacity and it will work exactly the same way. So let's just jump in there and check it out really quickly. All right, so here we are in Adobe Audition. This is what it looks like. Audacity looks pretty much the same way. You've got your tracks laid out, all that kind of stuff. So what I want to do is we're going to import our sound file. Here's some I did the other day. Spooky bitch. <laughs> This is a, a sound file I had. I basically did a Resident Evil stream. Well, I'm currently still streaming it. And I did custom alerts for the game in kind of a horror theme. I was I wanted to make like a bits alert. If somebody sent bits, this would play. Spooky bits. 
spooky bits. All you gotta do, hit record. Select which track you wanna record on, hit record. Super easy. All right, so we've got this spooky bits sound, right? It's funny, but that alone is not good enough. So I also have this little sound of like a jump scare type thing, right? So we're gonna bring, we've imported that. We're gonna bring that in. So here it is here. Christ almighty. Okay, that's very loud. You don't want to give your viewers a heart attack, so let's make it quieter. You can, again, everything here will be the exact same in Audition, give or take a couple of buttons. Drag these together. Let's make this a bit louder. The spooky bits is a bit quiet. That's quite good, but maybe we can make this a little bit better. Let's go into our effects here. Let's add some... We have our little effects channel down here. Again, Audacity, which is free, has something similar. Let's try reverb. Full reverb. Spooky bits! There you go! There is a perfectly good spook alert. Spooky that bits. plays on your stream, everyone will have a heart attack and it will be kind of funny. Now, obviously, I, this took me 20 seconds. You could spend way more time on this. But as I said, creating little things like this, it just creates such a buzz for a chat. The beauty here is you could do this with anything. You could do it for your follow alerts. You could just have a random sound on stream. You could have yourself going like some sort of hype thing. If you're excited, you could just spam the little button. You don't need a stream deck. You could do it straight from a little keyboard command within OBS or within Streamlabs OBS. And it's really fun for chat and it's really good. So definitely check that out. I'll put a link below to Audacity. There's loads of free audio editors out there. Audacity is the one I've used before, so I would recommend that. But check out what works for you and find your own one. But definitely worth giving it a shot, I think. Next on the list is an application for your phone called Low Key. So Low Key is a really great way for making, again, vertical videos or TikToks on the move if you're not on your computer. And they do have a desktop application as well that does function, but it just needs a lot more work, in my opinion. Their mobile app is a lot more polished. It works on Android and iOS, and it's so, it's so handy. Again, you just open the app. It kind of looks like TikTok. There's a little bit of a social media element to it. You can look at other people's clips and stuff like that, but I just use it for creating them. You can paste your clip straight into the application, select where your webcam is and export it all from there and download it to your phone and post it to social media. So if, say if you're out hanging out and you're not at your PC that day and somebody posts a very funny clip into your Discord from your stream or wherever or tweets at you or something and you're like, oh my God, I missed that clip. You can do it even though you're not at home, you can get it out there and it's super handy. It's very new. It's very, very, very new. It hasn't, I don't believe, fully launched yet, so it's only going to get better. And at its current state of development, it's enough for me to use it uh, when I want to post clips from my phone. So super handy. Definitely check out Low Key. But as I said, desktop application needs a little bit more work. Um, but the mobile application works fantastically for doing this on the go. This one might seem like a little bit obvious, but Streamlabs or Stream Elements. If you even if you use OBS, you don't stream from Streamlabs OBS, or if you stream from XSplit, like I mean, who stream? I don't know who anyone who streams from XSplit. <laughs> but you don't have to stream from Streamlabs OBS to avail of all the great tools offered by Streamlabs OBS and Stream Elements. Both Streamlabs and Stream Elements both offer very similar things to you, but they also offer offer their kind of own unique things as well. I recommend trying both of them and seeing which one you like the best. They both offer some really, really cool tools for streamers that I think, you know, you kind of need. Through this, you can handle your alerts, your overlays. You can have a chatbot that does your commands, timers, whatever. You can run giveaways through it. And one of the really cool things you can do with Streamlabs is do merch. So yeah, you can make merch through this as well. And it's so handy and so easy and really, really simple. Merch can like be as complicated as you want it to be or as like easy as you want it to be. And I think this is a really good solution to make actually very good quality merch quite cheaply. Some of the products on the merch are only available to people who pay for the Streamlabs Prime subscription, but there is some things you can get for free as well. Let's say you want to make a shirt from your stream. You know, you literally just select a shirt. You can pick your colors here all within Streamlabs and just upload your logo. So yeah, you can literally upload whatever design you want straight from your computer. Here's this little like metal two shoes logo thing I was doing. I was doing this kind of metal merch before. Scale stuff up, position it, move it around. You can put back print, all that kind of stuff and literally add it directly to your store. They have so many different things included in the free bundle as well, which is dope. There's also like really cool overlays and stuff within Streamlabs that some of which are actually free. So if you're looking for some new overlays, you can actually get some free ones, which is really cool. And um, most of them are pretty sweet. Some of them are animated as well. So definitely worth checking out Streamlabs. You can kind of keep everything together. You can also track your analytics really well in Streamlabs, which I think is amazing. So this is Stream Elements. Again, very similar things. You've got like themes, galleries here, overlays, a tipping section you can hook up your uh, PayPal to for like, you know, donation alerts and stuff like that. What's really cool down here is like, you've got like a chat stat thing. You can look at like your statistics from your chat, all that kind of thing. Who's chatting the most, 
some kind of cool information to know. You also have this like media request button down here that shows like if let's say for example you play music on your stream you can actually manage like music requests down here like if you're a musician you're playing songs people want to request songs they can do it down here. You can also manage giveaways if you're running a giveaway in your stream this is a really easy way to do it. What is also really cool about stream elements is that there's a little kind of partnership section that you sometimes you might get be able to get little sponsors uh, or some sort of partnerships like there's one available for Magic the Gathering right now to give away like you know Magic, Gather Magic the Gathering awards to your community and to the streamer and so these pop up here from time to time and you can maybe find yourself some cool things for your community or for you. It's pretty handy. You know, look, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, two very basic, basic tools that most streamers know about and, and use, but I feel like sometimes people don't use them in their full capacity or don't know a lot of the features that they possess. So definitely worth checking them out. All right, next on the list is Trello. So a Trello is a website that you can sign up for free. There is a free version, there's a paid version. I use the free version myself. Trello is an amazing way to like keep track of stuff for stream. It's also for me, I'm a very scatterbrained person. I'm always, <laughs> always forgetting things, always all over the place, and I need something to keep me in check. And I think Trello is a really great tool for that. Trello basically allows you to create these little boards, right? So you can customize what the boards say. I use one for my YouTube videos. I have one board that I have that is called ideas and titles of videos. I have one board for approved ideas that I think are good. I have one board for that I have filmed the video and then completed it. It's an edit and then it's done. So let's say you're a streamer. You could start a board that for your entire week, right? So you could have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And on your Mondays, you could say, right, I know I'm playing Resident Evil today and here's some things I want to accomplish in this stream. If you were to use it for say something like your goals for the week, it's a really good way to visualize your goals. Trello is a really great way to have that. You could have it open in a small window on your second monitor. Just check it from time to time. For me, sometimes there's a lot of things I need to like announce to my chat sometimes or things I definitely want to talk about that day. But once I start streaming, I get sidetracked by whatever's going on in chat. And this is a great way to just bring me back in. It's a really cool like little note section. As I said, I also use it for my YouTube videos. I'm chilling, working during the day and I have an idea for a video or something cool for my stream. I just open up Trello and I put it down. So it's a great way to just jot things down, organize your streams, organize your goals. If you make content outside of Twitch, be it TikTok, Instagram, YouTube videos, whatever, you can keep it all there. You can schedule stuff that you know, okay, I want to put out this today, that today, I got to edit this. It's great. It's a really good kind of productivity booster for me, I suppose, and definitely worth checking out if you want to take streaming that a little bit more seriously or you just need to wrangle yourself in. All right, Amazon Blacksmith. A lot of you might have heard of this or heard of at least the Amazon Affiliate Program. Amazon Affiliate Program is basically a program that you can sign up to or join and have links on your content for things you use, be it your gear, your equipment. And if somebody goes and purchases that thing using your link, you then earn a small percentage of what they spent. It's pretty handy. It's a great way to support content creators. I myself am an Amazon affiliate and it's a great thing for streamers as well because one thing that streamers get asked is, hey, what mic are you using? Hey, what camera are you using? Hey, what keyboard do you use? What this do you use? What that do you use? It happens all the time. So Amazon Blacksmith is a great way to let people know all the equipment you use while also linking to your Amazon affiliate links from below your stream. If you come to my channel now, you can see once you scroll down that I have all my things here and I have this little Amazon blacksmith Twitch extension. This is what it is. It's a Twitch extension and you can see here my camera, my mic, my stream deck, the two capture cards I use, the HDMI switcher, my mixer, my lights, my second camera, which is over there. If they're just asking about your gear. You can direct them down here. It's pretty accessible. They can see what it looks like. They click it, they get brought straight to Amazon and they can see it. One thing I will say though, guys, if you are thinking about joining the Amazon affiliate program or you're thinking about putting affiliate links to anything on your stream, be clear about that. Be transparent and upfront with your audience that, you know, hey, this is an affiliate link. Like I do benefit from you using it. Like just so you know, people appreciate that type of thing. It's super nice to let people know that, you know, like this is the case I'm being upfront and transparent about it. Pe people do appreciate it. So once you sign up as an Amazon affiliate, you can basically just go on to Twitch and install the Blacksmith extension like anything else. It will identify your account as an affiliate account and you can just link it all up. Voice mod. All right, voice mod's a cool free tool that a lot of you might've heard of, but can be used in a very super fun and cool way on your stream. Voice mod is a free voice changer that you can hook up to your headset, hook up to your mic, whatever. It is so simple. It's just a little bit of software that you download and install. Again, there is a paid version for it. I believe it's only about $10 for the year. There is a free version and each week there's different voices on rotation that you can use and mess with. It's really fun. Maybe you can add like a voice changer channel point reward in your chat. I do a lot of like sometimes like I do like auto-tune songs on my stream and voice mod allows me to do that. It's very funny and chat seem to like it when I do it. So there you go. Those are some tools that you can use for free to hopefully give your stream a little bit of a boost. 
hopefully help your productivity and just, you know, generally make your life a little bit easier. Or in some cases, some more fun streams for you guys. Again, look, th those tools are not going to be for everybody. As I mentioned, those are my picks for some things that I like to use. I think that are very fun. I would recommend trying some of them out. You'll know pretty quickly whether or not you think you'll benefit from it. But, you know, there's no harm in trying. They are free. So, you know, have a try. Have a think about it. Definitely no harm in giving them a shot. As always, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys learned something as well and, you know, are feeling a little bit motivated. And if you're not, don't worry about it. Next week is another week. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. That would mean the world to me. We're, as I said, we are on our way to 5,000 subscribers. It would be awesome to hit that. Please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy your time here. And again, you can catch me on Twitch four days a week at twitch.tv forward slash x 2 shoes There's also other links down in the description below if you want to know other ways you can support me and the channel. Have an amazing weeks on your stream. And if you don't feel like doing it this week, take some time for yourself, hang out, chill out, do some stuff you love, and I'll catch you when I catch you. Peace out, much love, goodbye.